Hello and welcome to today's video on using Snapper on Oracle Linux. This video aims to install, configure, and use Snapper to create, compare, and automate snapshots. So let us get started. Snapper is a utility for managing ButterFS snapshots. It allows for snapshot creation and deletion while also enabling users to compare the difference in snapshots and revert changes at the file level. Now, time to schedule the creation of a few snapshots. Begin by connecting to a system with existing ButterFS subvolumes. The system we are using is a pre-configured Oracle Linux instance on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Next, we need to install Snapper. For Oracle Linux 8, the Snapper utility is in the ol 8 underscore uek 6 repository, which our system has enabled by default. Using DNF, install Snapper by running sudo space DNF space install space dash y space Snapper. Since our instance of Oracle Linux 8 has enforcing mode enabled by default for SE Linux, we need to address an SE Linux policy constraint. The default SE Linux policy settings prevent Snapper from accessing the ButterFS subvolumes located at forward slash data. Correct the SE Linux access to our resources by creating a new policy or set snapper d underscore t to a permissive domain. For this environment, we set snapper to a permissive domain by running sudo space se manage space permissive space dash a space snapper d underscore t. Using this approach, we still use the power and security of SE Linux. If we later decide to reverse this change to SE Linux, then run sudo space se manage space permissive space dash d space snapper d underscore t. Once installed and SE Linux access granted, we create a snapper configuration file that expects an existing ButterFS subvolume as a parameter. Type sudo space snapper space dash c space dir1 space create dash config space dash f space butterfs space forward slash data forward slash dir1. When run, this command does the following. Adds a dir1 entry in the forward slash etsy forward slash sysconfig forward slash snapper file. Generates a configuration file forward slash etsy forward slash snapper forward slash configs forward slash dir1. And places a dot snapshots directory in the specified subvolume for the snapper generated snapshots. Next, repeat this step for each subvolume that requires automatic snapshots. Since our system has two subvolumes, we run sudo space snapper space dash c space dir2 space create dash config space dash f space butterfs space forward slash data forward slash dir2 for the second one. With the configurations created, get a listing using sudo space snapper space list dash configs. Run a directory listing and notice that snapper places all the config files in forward slash etsy forward slash snapper forward slash configs. Next, we open one of the configuration files and review the default settings. Using vi, open the file forward slash etsy forward slash snapper forward slash configs forward slash dir1 and look for the line timeline underscore create equals yes. Having this value set to yes and the snapper systemd timer unit enabled allows periodic snapshot events to trigger automatically. Setting this value to no will disable these periodic snapshots for the specific configuration and subvolume. The other values to adjust are those beginning with timeline underscore limit. The snapper timeline configuration keeps 10 hourly, 10 daily, 10 monthly, and 10 yearly snapshots by default and uses the timeline underscore limit values to prune the number of snapshots during cleanup. If we did not want to retain any snapshots for a given value of timeline underscore limit, then set the value to zero, which turns off the specific timeline. With our review complete, close the configuration file. Complete the configuration of automatic snapshots by enabling the systemd timer. Run sudo space systemctl space enable space dash dash now space snapper dash timeline dot timer. Snapshots will begin in an hour provided the timeline underscore limit underscore hourly value was not disabled. 
For more information on the Snapper configuration, see the Snapper-Config manual page. Besides the automatic snapshots, Snapper also allows manual snapshots. When using the manual snapshots, the Snapper utility can create three types of snapshots. The pre, the post, and the single. The pre and post should be done in pairs and ran before and after modifications to a subvolume state. The single snapshot is also used to record a subvolume state but is not associated with any other snapshots. They are primarily helpful for periodic backup purposes. As a quick practice, create a single snapshot by running sudo space snapper space dash c space dir1 space create space dash dash description space double quote test single double quote. If the subvolume modifications may need rolling back, use the pre and post types. To demonstrate this, start by creating a pre snapshot with sudo space snapper space dash c space dir2 space create space dash t space pre space dash p. Note the number of the snapshot printed, as we will use it later in the post snapshot command. Now modify the subvolume by adding several new files with sudo space touch space forward slash data forward slash dir2 forward slash file open curly bracket 4 comma 5 close curly bracket dot text. Get a new directory listing using tree space forward slash data which shows the added text files. Then create the post snapshot by running sudo space snapper space dash c space dir2 space create space dash t space post space dash dash pre dash number space and the snapshot index number. The index number used corresponds to the pre snapshot number we mentioned earlier. Another way to accomplish the same task is to use the dash dash command flag. In this scenario create the pre and post snapshots by running sudo space snapper space dash c space dir1 space create space dash dash command and within single quotes f allocate space dash l space 2g space forward slash data forward slash dir1 forward slash file 6 dot image. Running this command causes snapper to wrap the requested action in a set of pre and post snapshots. This feature does not appear too significant when used with a single f allocate command but imagine using it while running a script that makes hundreds of modifications to the subvolume. If there was a mistake during that script, having the ability to roll back would be beneficial. So, now we have snapshots generated. What next? First, let us see what snapshots exist based on the configurations we did. To get a list of existing snapshots for a given subvolume, run sudo space snapper space dash c space dir2 space list. Then get a list of files and directories that were added, removed, or modified between snapshots. Type sudo space snapper space dash c space dir2 space status space and the index of the first snapshot dot dot and the index of the second snapshot. The snapper command further allows us to determine the difference in the file's contents in the snapshots using the diff option. Getting a diff is possible by default on the entire snapshot or referencing a single file. For a single file, modify one of the subvolume files by adding another line of text using echo space double quote hello space hello space hello double quote space pipe space sudo space t space dash a space forward slash data forward slash dir2 forward slash file 3 dot text. Then create a new snapshot with sudo space snapper space dash c space dir2 space create space dash dash description space double quote file 3 space changed double quote. Get a listing of the current snapshots by running sudo space snapper space dash c space dir2 space list. Take note of the new snapshot number. Finally get the diff of this change by running sudo space snapper space dash c space dir2 space diff space and the first index number dot dot the second index number space and a full path to the file. 
The last feature we cover is the ability to delete snapshots. Depending on how many snapshots you need to delete, Snapper gives several options. For a single snapshot, run sudo space snapper space dash c space dir1 space delete space and the snapshot index. If we want to delete multiple snapshots, add another snapshot ID to the command separated by a space. Or we can delete an entire range of snapshots by specifying the starting snapshot ID, then a dash, and then the ending snapshot ID. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching and enjoy using Oracle Linux.